Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome spirits into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love and relationship reading for Capricorn from the 29th of April to the 12th of May 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading that resonates specifically with you, then please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my deck review series as well as my simple energy healing remedy videos that I've been putting out. Um, I'm sure you'll find that very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read and I'm using the Angel Voices uh, deck for that particular read. Okay, so you've been feeling rather oppressed in a particular situation and very restricted. You've got this Saturn and the Sun over here. So Saturn is a very restrictive planet and it is, uh, you know, uh, maybe feeling you're feeling uh, personally restricted. So the Sun deals with your ego. It deals with uh, things related to you specifically. So there might be an energy around you or somebody around you that is being very manipulative, very restrictive of whatever you want to do. You've got legal compensation over here, uh, so it looks like you might have been dealing with some kind of legal issues, and it looks like some kind of compensation has come in, so there might have been a payoff for you. And this card deals with, um, you know, whatever issues you have been uh, dealing with or people you've been dealing with, um, you know, it's been quite successful. There's been... Um, good communication, you've managed to get things done rather. So, you know, you are moving on, things are moving on and you are managing to sort out problems and you're speaking your truth. So people are standing back and listening now. So in the past, you've got this hidden enemies card. So you've been dealing with a lot of problems and issues and maybe people doing things behind your back. And you have now started to take control of that situation over here. So you've got uh, Mars and Mercury over here. You are in control of your thoughts. You are taking, you know, Mars is about po power. And you are now displaying that power. So you may have been, uh, you know, feeling... Um, as though people were doing things behind your back. But you have now taken control of that situation. You're taking your power back. And you're communicating quite clearly because you've got this card of successful communication. And also, you know, with this Mercury and Jupiter, it's... Uh, approaching a broader audience. So you're meeting a lot more people as well. Now you've got the moon card over here uh, going into the future. And this is about, you know, you've got that nurturing impulse uh, going for you. But also, you know, you're trying to find uh, solutions to problems. You can see this woman's got a lantern in her hand. So you're also looking at the past, looking at uh, finding solutions to whatever you, uh, situation you've been dealing with. This card could also be talking about dealing with issues that are going on in the home. So you could be having some kind of um, family issues that you're trying to deal with. And, um, you know, getting that sorted out and this could also be you know even dealing with issues involving your mother uh, because the moon card in, you know deals with the mother so you're trying to find solutions to whatever problems and you're the one that's taking control you can see she's got the um the rod in her hand, she's taking her control or taking power off that situation. Uh, you know, and if you're dealing with issues in the house, uh, in the home life, uh, you know, um, you're trying, you're sorting it out. You're finding solutions to those particular problems and trying to find out uh, what was going on. And then you've got uh, this card of study and this is about uh, communication and maybe, you know, you've uh, focused all your energies now on studying or getting your career going. So you are doing some kind of course or something that involves a lot of, uh, you know, mental energy. But you've also got the sun. So whatever you're doing right now, the sun with Mercury, whatever you're doing now is going to better your yourself or better your own personal status. And, you know, you're managing to, um, um, you know, accumulate new skills. Uh, and whatever you're learning right now is going to be very beneficial for the future. So you are focusing on yourself quite a bit and dealing with whatever family issues you are dealing with. You've been um, trying to sort that out or any kind of family issues. You know, even the, the moon card could even be about uh, a home move. So, you know, you might be thinking about buying a new home as well. So that is what you're dealing with at this particular moment. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Arcus Arcanium Tarot.
I've put the deck in the description box, uh, but I do warn it is quite a, uh, a rare deck. Um, it's an old deck, uh, so it's difficult to get a hold of right now. It's out of print. Okay, so you've got that three of rods over here. So you're working with a lot of people right now, working on your own business or your own projects right now. Uh, a lot of communication going around. There might be some attraction going on between you and these people. So they have hold you in high regard. Uh, you know, they're very friendly. You get along pretty well with them. There's a lot of communication going on uh, with them. So there could also be two people that you are very attracted to uh, within your work environment that you're working with. Uh, you know, there's a lot of flirting going around, it seems, with this particular energy. But for, mo for the most part, you're enjoying what you're doing and you're working uh, on your projects. You're re rather focused on your work life. So what's happening with you? You've got the Knight of Wands and it's crossed by that Five of Swords. So you may have been dealing with a uh, fire sign person with this Knight of Wands. So that could, this could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person that you were dealing with and having, uh, you know, a lot of issues with them. I say having a lot of issues because you've got it, the Five of Swords crossing this particular card. So they might, this might have been the relationship that you were involved in and there was a lot of arguments and problems and you were always fighting with each other, it seems. Uh, you know, you're up against each other um, and, um, you know, you've got that Three of Swords, whatever they've been saying, the words have been very hurtful because you've got the Three of Swords over here, which is a card that signifies heartbreak. Um, and you can see these two people facing each other with the swords over here, um, you know, um, in almost like a stalemate position. So there's been a power struggle going on within this particular relationship. There's been a lot of harsh words being spoken and very hurtful words as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, this has been uh, causing a lot of problems. This person has also been very restrictive because you can see there's a wall in the back over there. So they've been very limiting uh, to, for your ideas and your belief systems. And it seems like you may want, have want, you want your freedom from this particular situation. You could also be dealing with the third party situation in here. And this is the thing that is causing the issue uh, that is going on. Now this person's up in arms. So you and this person are having a lot of problems with each other. And uh, this energy is very, very uh, aggressive. Uh, kind of energy that you're dealing with with this uh, Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight of Wands could also be, you know, uh, maybe you're thinking, maybe this person is foreign to you, haven't, uh, you know, the, you all are not from the same country, and maybe this is the reason why you all don't see eye to eye in the, with a lot of things. Now, you've got that Ace of Wands over here. So, um, you know, there has been a, a lot of issues that you've been dealing with and a lot of drama you can see there's this huge lion over here and you know this hand is in fire so there's been a lot of problems a lot of issues you're trying to take back that control take back that power that you have uh, lost or maybe this person has been quite abusive and there could be even physical abuse with this ace of wands over here but you're trying to get control back of that situation and move away um, from whatever happened now it seems it could also have been that, you know, this might have been a new relationship that started in the past year. And, you know, within that relationship, it may have been a very sexual relationship, but there was a lot of problems and a lot of fighting going on between you and this particular person. You've got that three of cups over here. So there lo looks like there may be a third party situation going on over here. So maybe this person has the wandering eye and has been, uh, you know, indulging in a relationship with other people besides you. So it's not been an exclusive relationship that you're dealing with. Uh, you can see this person's, um, you know, dealing with two other people over here. So this may have been the thing that has caused the problems. You're looking at that third party situation and this is causing the fighting that's going on between you and this particular person. There are a lot of rods cards in it. So this person, this energy that you're dealing with seems to be more for fire sign person. So something has happened. There's been some kind of crisis. Uh, you've got that five of swords over here. So you have been up against this person. There's been a lot of dispute going on. And this has led to some kind of, kind of crisis situation. You've got the tower card coming over here. Maybe uh, somebody's thrown somebody else out of the home. home. Maybe you're living together and one of you have left. Uh, because you can see this person has been uh, thrown out of this tower. So it looks like there was a huge argument or some kind of huge problem that happened, huge crisis, and, uh, you know, people have been uh, thrown out from that particular living condition. So you may have broken up with each other or, you know, moved out. Um, one person has moved out of that relationship. 
Now you've got the Queen of Discs, which is your card. And this is showing that, you know, you're taking control of that situation. It looks like you are very financially independent and you're ready to go it by yourself. So you're, it, it seems like whatever these arguments are that you've been uh, going on, maybe this person has had that wandering eye. You've got that Three of Cups over here. You're not willing to put up with it anymore and you are taking back control. You are sorting out things. It looks like, you know, you are financially independent and you're able to run things by yourself. So you don't really need anybody else to give you a hand. So going into the future, you've got the Six of Cups over here. It looks like, you know, you are quite a popular person. You've got that Six of Cups over here. You might be getting together with friends from your past, doing a lot of socializing, uh, meeting up with old friends. Uh, so you're getting over the situation. You're taking control of it. You are financially independent. It seems like you don't need this particular person. And you're getting back to your old friends uh, with the Six of Cups. And that is where maybe an invitation comes in, um, you know, an offer comes in for you from, you know, from somebody that you used to know in the past. But it seems like you're not wasting your time anymore in this relationship. You are moving on. You've got that Page of Swords over here. So, um, you know, this could be some kind of um, legal... Um, um, issue that you're dealing with as well so it looks like there's some a uh, message coming in uh you know it's it's some kind of official message it's some, some kind of legal news coming in for you page of swords usually brings in legal news now with page of swords also be careful that you know you might be also dealing with somebody who is not really uh very faithful to you in the sense that it could be a person that pretends to be your friend and is carrying tales, uh, somebody who is uh, a bit deceptive, taking information, giving it um, to people, uh, you know, whom you don't really want to receive that information. So there's a bit of a sneaky kind of behavior going on around you as well. Now, the Page of Swords most of the time deals with legal information or legal news. And this is the sword, so maybe you have decided to seek some kind of legal counseling in order for you to deal with this kind of situation. Even with this Five of Swords, you know, it's it's talking about using legal means uh, in order to sort things out. So there looks like there's some kind of legal communication coming in for you or you're seeking some kind of legal advice. Now, the Queen of Cups is showing that you are very upset about what is going on. She's usually somebody who is quite emotional and feeling a bit depressed and feeling a bit lonely. Uh, and you want to move away from it. You've got that ship over here trying to move away from this difficult situation. But you are still feeling very, very upset and feeling a bit miserable about what is going on in, uh, with you. So going into the future, um, you've got the Seven of Rods over here, the Moon and the Page of Wands. So with the seven of wands over here, it's you defending yourself in this particular situation. So you have to stand up for yourself and decide what you want to do. It's making a decision, uh, but uh, once you make a decision, defend yourself and stand up for whatever you uh, decide to do. Um, you know, there could also be, you know, uh, you know, this person could be very, very aggressive that you're dealing with. And you may have to seek some help uh, from people around you to uh, fight your battles. So you can see here, everybody seems to be coming up against this person and they're having to defend themselves. So maybe a lot of people are talking or there's a lot of problems that you're dealing with and you're having to sort it out one at a time, but, you know, having to stand up for yourself as well. So you have to take control of that situation. With that moon card, it's about feeling a bit depressed and feeling a bit confused and, and you know, not knowing what to do. So there is that element about, uh, you know, trying to find your pathway, but still having a lot of issues with, uh, you know, depression or isolation or not seeing things very, very clearly, a bit confused. And, uh, and there's a lot of duality in the sense that you really don't know what to do right now in this particular situation. You've got that emotional side battling your logic at this particular moment. So your mind versus your heart. And you, it, this is the thing that is causing the confusion. Now you've got that page of wands over here. Now it looks like there is some new situation coming in for you. <coughs> if this relationship is very sexually based, this person might make the offer for you and you know you might get back together with this person based on sexual attraction. On the other hand, it could be a new offer coming in for you uh, with somebody that you are very, very attracted to. Uh, you know, because the wands usually signify sexual attraction. So there might be a new uh, relationship that is heading your way, um, you know, a very physical relationship, and that might be on offer coming in for you. So you are trying to get through whatever this relationship is that you've been dealing with. You're using some kind of legal, getting some kind of legal advice to deal with this particular situation. It seems like you will be socializing quite a bit with people and uh, with friends from the past, 
and it looks like there might be a new relationship coming in that might be very physical to start off with so something coming up for you that might be based on some kind of physical um, attraction that you have because you certainly are attracted to a lot of people that even your know, people that you're working with so it looks like there might be some um, a new relationship coming in that will be you know may start off as a physical attraction it might be turning it might turn out to be a love relationship uh, once you work on it um, but definitely something brand new coming in uh, you know maybe to get you even out of this mood of uh, feeling depressed so this is the Archangel Power Tarot and I'm just going to be drawing some cards for the Oracle read and it says time to make a decision be clear on what you want take action and need for detoxification so uh, with the seven of Raphael it's the seven of cups having many options available for you now you are meeting a lot of people over here with this three of rods you are working with a lot of people that you're very attracted to and also with the six of cups meeting a lot of people so it seems like with the seven of Raphael there's going to be a lot of options available for you so you're not stuck uh, in that particular relationship it's it seems like you know you're going to be able to move on and then you've got that nine of michael over here your worries are unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire and release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels so it's time for you not to get so worried and anxious about what is going on uh you know try to um to move beyond that anxiety with the nine of uh, michael it's about the nine of swords so um you know you are stressed out at this particular moment uh, maybe whatever's been going on has stressed you out because you do have the tower card in over in the spread so it seems like you know you are still stressed out after dealing with that tower situation then you've got the world card of yeah a, ha a happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so the world card is also ruled by Archangel Michael. So it looks like, you know, things have come to an end. Michael deals with legalities. So maybe whatever legal issues you were dealing with in the past, with that nine of Michael is also, you know, it's a swords uh, um, suit. So it's also maybe you were dealing with multiple legal matters that you were trying to sort out. And it looks like that is coming to an end right now. And it's going to all go in your favor. So there's some kind of legal news coming in. Uh, maybe to do with this previous relationship that you were dealing with. Uh, but it looks like there is a happy conclusion to that. And you are going to be victorious. So whatever that relationship was, which is not really, really good for you. It could have been with a fire sign person with that knight of rods over here. Or knight of wands. Uh, but it was very aggressive energy that you were dealing with. This person was very, very aggressive. But also there was a lot of harsh words and harsh things being said as well. And you were still very, very defensive about it. You're still, you know, fighting uh, f um, for your uh, power. Still fighting this, this person. Still having a lot of power struggle going on. But it looks like things are starting to move on. There's going to be a positive outcome to whatever legal issues you were dealing with. And, you, you know, with this Queen of Discs, you are financially independent and it looks like, you know, you will have the money to sort yourself out. You don't need really any support from anybody else at this particular moment. You're getting there. Um, and, you know, with the world card, uh, things that cycle is now finished and you are now going to be moving on. Uh, so this is the end of that karmic journey. Uh, you know, this karmic relationship that you dealt with, it seems like it's finally come to its end. And, uh, you know, you are now going to be able to start a new cycle. As well so try not to be very very anxious or try not to be very very depressed about the whole situation see things and be positive and move in a positive direction so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has resonated thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye